Hi there, I'm Scott Bowens. I make vessel pendants and I make it in a unusual way. You'll see here I'm working with a mandrel spinner. So I'll be spinning this vessel out. Right here I start with the neck and I build down through the body and as I'm heating up some glass here you'll see me start to work on the shoulders of the vessel. Um, just building it up layer upon layer heating a little bit of the gather, adding the gather as a layer, coming back and adding another layer, one after another. Now this marber I'm using is shaping that, keeping it in control, and I need to kind of curve those shoulders down uh, so I don't get too large in my circumference. What you see here is about max for what I, I'm comfortable with. I can go much bigger, but this... Um, this is really easy for me. Remember, this is double speed. Now I'm going to turn the camera so that you can see what's happening from the other side. I've got a flat surface to marver against and a graphite tool that I can marver the inside with. So I can create a really nice even wall thickness. Here you can kind of see how pliable the glass is when it's hot. You can see how liquid that is when I just add that layer. I just drip it right on as it's spinning around, making it look easy. It's not that easy. I'm practiced, of course, and I invented this tool, so of course I have an insight into kind of how to use it the best. Add another layer. I could go into a long tube with this if I liked, um, but here I'm just going to close up the end. Zip! See how fast that was? Now I've got a nice really even wall thickness on my vessel. Nice clean wall. I put that at the the border between the clear and the other part. Now, oops, a little shaking. <clears throat> that was the very top of the vessel that I just put on. Here I'm shaping the bulb into a long cone by just pulling it out as it spins. These are kind of shoulder decorations. Handles, not really handles though and some bumps because I like this pattern. Gives a little extra ornateness to it. And then a little more on the end. And this is a metallic black, so I'm going to need to, um, yeah, I'm gonna add a little, just to the tip there. No, I need to bring out the metallic. And there I've done it. You can see that shininess, and there you go. Thanks for watching.